Proverbs 15 verse 30 says, A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the junk room where we create whatever. I am so glad you've joined me today. Uh, I just had to share what we did Thursday night at the junk journal program here at work uh, with the youth. I was so in love with these envelope butterflies that uh, I did uh, for the pug pages, a video two back that I wanted to do them with, with the young people, but I wanted to see how they turn out if we painted the envelopes first. We just had a great time painting. They're not even, they're not even <laughs> licked shut yet. Painting envelopes so much so that that's what we did the whole time. I had another painting uh, project ready to go in case they lost interest, but no, they wanted to keep going and going. And so that's all we did is, is painted, uh, envelopes. And then they got into splattering. I didn't even have to encourage that or show that they just naturally started experimenting with the paints. And I, they had a great time because one, uh, of the ladies, <laughs> um, went home covered head to foot, including her clothing. She's bladder painted. The, the comment and the consensus was, this was so, so relaxing that that's, that's all they wanted to do was, was to play with paint. Now, I want to see what they're going to turn out like when I cut the envelope. All you need is an envelope. Doesn't matter the different sizes, shapes, flaps. They just make different, different shaped butterflies. Some wonky, uh, some people that need it to be symmetrical. Um, you might want to make sure your envelope is symmetrical. I got this one out because I wanted, I wanted to show you uh, where I'm cutting. And then I'm going to cut some of some of those beautiful, delicious, colored, painted ones. But I won't use uh, the ones that belong to to the girls. Just the ones that I did. The girls will cut the envelopes up to make butterfly pocket, belly band, tuck spot. I'm not sure what what we want to call it. I just put glue where we would normally lick it. And I'm just going to take the pen so you can see better where we're cutting. It's where the flaps are, but not where they overlap. So we want to leave that, but we want to cut the top and bottom those flaps. So I'll just speed this up because I'm sure you all know how to cut. Once it's cut out, you can put anything you want for in the middle, kind of like the butterfly's body. So this one was washi tape. This one was ribbon. I did one where I just cut out a piece of book page to the size I wanted and wrapped that around. You could use material, lace, whatever you want to just wrap around that part. You can go as many times as you want around it. I don't want to go too many times around because then that adds some bulk. Uh, the original ones that I did, these ones, I copy dyed and like stamped them, but I wanted to see what would happen if we painted. Here's, here's a really different
different one. This is with the book page. Probably should have cut that part off. I was rushing. But this is a, a rounded flaps. Gives a different a different look to your to your butterfly. All right, I have my pile here. This is my pile that that I did. I'm looking for just to show you look at that gold this one I love beautiful I'm actually going to turn them over because I want to do it with a symmetrical one so that is a symmetrical one this is not this side would be wider than this side just because of the flap I think it's hard to tell could be wrong that one would be all right That would be a little off. Oh, this one I wasn't even paying attention to. That could be used in a different project. Again, when I'm looking, I'm looking at this part to see if it's going to be symmetrical. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty one too. I'm going to do that. Oh, I really like that. I'll do one that's not symmetrical. I'm just going to... Now, you could... Uh, glue it all in if you wanted to uh, you don't have to if you leave it without glue you will get an opening at the top and the bottom totally totally up to you if you want to glue it I don't I just want to glue the tops there's one It is a gorgeous hot day here in St. Thomas. A little too warm right now to work out in the gardens here at work. I thought I'd pop on and do this, this video for a midweek session. This is the wonky one. And I'm just following following the flap lines or maybe the wing lines since I'm calling these butterflies and I maybe you don't even want anything wrapped around the center especially if you really like the paint job there's one now this would be a really really wide one I don't know if I would do what I did before because the wider that is um, you're you're dealing with that however that doesn't look too bad because it's skinny but my big my big one that I had around one it was really wide and so that doesn't look as nice totally up to you what you do with it at this point oh don't cut too far I was going to go all the way there that wouldn't have been good I kind of like the element of surprise, not seeing which one it is. One of the things that I do with uh, the girls uh, on our Thursday night junk journaling group is I have them uh, always make extras. And then we have to do an exchange. Oh, I love, love this one oh, and it's sparkly oh I love that one okay, that's my favorite so far they make extra so if we have four girls in the group they make five one to keep and then four to give away they will still end up with five it's so interesting to see the different Things they make with the same product. Uh, they each either brought me five items or gave me a list of five, five items that I had to find to continue on with my five item challenge with a little twist getting uh, the kids and younger friends to give me 
give me things to work with. Ooh, I like that one too. Oh, I might have to keep going. These are all so, so pretty. And at this point, we can do a number of things. We could just wrap the center and call it done. Or I'm thinking for this one, which is probably hard to see on the brown paper because it's gold. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink around it. You do not have to ink. You do not have to use Jumbo Java. I'm almost ready to try something other than Jumbo Java. I've used this for years and years and I love it. I used it when I scrapbooked all the time. I used it. I love it. But you, you use whatever you want to edge, edge it or not edge it. I like that. I think I'm also going to add a little script. I brought a script stamp home from home uh, to use. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to just try. Take the black and see what that looks like. Oh, oh that's, I love it. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. It just, it just gives it a little something, something. This is a great, it's hard to see because I still have it in the plastic on one side, but it's a script when it's got different scripts. Lettering. That's a really nice one, but I love it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I would do too much more than that. And then I'd find something to go right here, I think. Here is some, some very, very thin, thin, thin ribbon. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. Whoop. Just, just a little bit. Oh, that's going to be so pretty in a junk journal. Let's see if I get the one. This is the one I made at the beginning of my YouTube journey, my altered book that we did. <gasps> oh, that is perfect there. It's got the green hues in it. Oh, I love it. Okay, that might be the spot for it. Let's just see. Oh, that gold is the same as that, but it covers up the butterflies. Don't want to cover up the flowers. Hmm. Yep, it's it's the other one. Ooh, that's interesting. It's got the green in it. That is kind of interesting. Hmm. What else? Mm, no. Nope, I think it's that page that I went, ah, look at that. Yep, don't even think about it anymore. I just glue down one side. Not, don't want to come in too much because the more glue that goes towards the center, the less space you have for a journal card. Making sure that's dry because I don't want it to stick. That is great. Man, that, I couldn't have planned that better if I 
I tried. The idea is you make a journal card, the width, making sure you give it enough so it can just slide in and out very easily because the pocket is behind there. And it comes down and it's so, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. Thanks, Pam, at the paper outpost for that. Now let's see what I can do with these ones. I, that one's really, really pretty too. This one's really wide. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let's see. I still have this piece. Maybe I'll do that. Bring out the pink. I want something other than than this. I've used this a lot. Let's do washi tape on this one. I wonder if I... That's just not going to tuck, is it? That's just going to... But you could do that instead of... Well, maybe I'll do that for this one. Then you don't even need to wrap it around. I just cut what you need. There we go. And then it just follows the... There. Okay. So you can wrap it around or you can cut it. Lots of variations. I think I want to, I want to do some stamping on that with that script. Maybe use a different, a different corner. And I think for this one, I think I'm going to leave it for now. I think I, for this one, I want to sew around it and see what that looks like. I don't have a sewing machine in the junk room at work. Uh, so I'll take this, this one and we might see it show up in another project. There's our three butterflies and then the fourth one already in a junk journal. Go ahead and uh, get some envelopes and and see how your butterflies will turn out. Painting, stamping, tea dyeing, coffee dyeing, endless possibilities. Have a great day everybody.